everyone, this is Heidi. Today is such a gorgeous day. We're finally getting into summer. And I am here at Mike Ward Automotive. They have all sorts of beautiful cars here. You may have seen some of them. I put them up on Instagram a few weeks ago when the Porsche Club of America came here. But what's so cool about this is they not only have new cars like Infinities and Maseratis and Alfa Romeos and of course McLarens, they also have a pretty good inventory of used cars and today for those of you Porsche fans I am going to be taking a Porsche Cayman 2016 out on the road so looking forward to having you with me. This Porsche Cayman has a 2.7 liter mid-engine, 271 horsepower engine with 213 pound-feet of torque. It goes from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds and 0 to 100 in 12.9. Its top speed is 165 miles per hour. It gets 20 miles per gallon around town and 30 on the highway. The curb weight of this car is 3,083 pounds, which is just slightly more than the GT4 Cayman at 3,050 pounds. The car is rear wheel drive, but because of the mid engine, it makes the handling and the performance of this car very hard to beat, even when it is put against the iconic Porsche 911. So this is the first time I've driven a Cayman, any Cayman, an S or a normal. And, um, boy, this 2016, it's really a nice model. They have that traditional console in the middle where you have everything um, helpful, easy to find. And my initial impressions with this car is it really, really handles well around corners. I can see why this is becoming the thing that uh, the car that everybody is starting to compare cars to. I meant I heard the um, I heard some reviews on a couple other cars, and they just kept coming back to the Porsche Cayman. And I know it's because this car can be um, raced, but it can just be driven as a daily driver. Uh, you can take it on a road trip. It's got a pretty cavernous sized trunk, and, and uh, it's. It's pretty, it's pretty um, comfortable. I mean, I could see driving in this car for many hours and being just fine with the comfort levels of the car. Now, I did have a 2006, so a 987 Boxster S, and I did feel a little bit of the difference in the engine power. The, uh, the 987 had a 3.2 liter engine, uh, this has a 2.7, so there is a little bit of a difference between the two. Um, S mode really was kind of virtually not uh, distinguishable in the, in, the, in the Boxster S, but in this car, boy, if you don't have it on, I, I imagine it does save you on fuel to not have it on, but when you put it on, boy, I can definitely feel a difference in and the car's power. It, this car just wants to be on mountain roads. I, I, I tell you, it does. It's, it just really, really corners well. It's amazing. Now it's still in the naturally aspirated category. This is before they switched to the four cylinder turbo engine that, that they put out now. And so um, I really like naturally aspirated cars. Now I, I love turbos too. I mean, I have a Porsche Turbo, but boy, is this car doing wonderfully well. I don't feel like I need to brake at all when I'm going downhill on these twisties. And this is just really an enjoyable drive for me. And it's absolutely gorgeous out. Summer is finally here in Colorado, and you can see all the trees are, are green, and everything is truly looking very summery out right now. And I'm really enjoying driving 
this car. Franny and I are big fans of convertibles, but I have to say, one of the reasons why we like convertibles is because of visibility. And this car does have a substantial amount of visibility through that rear window. I've seen some other cars where you virtually can't see out the back at all. And in this car, it's really quite nice. So it's one thing that's very comfortable. And if you're not a big, you know, get your hair messed up kind of, uh, of uh, you know, person, then this might be the car for you. Um, <laughs> my dad, he's super fair skinned like me and he absolutely hates convertibles. So this dad, this is, this is the car that you would enjoy driving, I'm sure. What else can I tell you about this car? It's really modern. I'm seeing the speed limit right on the gauge here on the right hand side, right up, uh, behind the steering wheel. It's telling me the speed limit that I should be doing and um, it's got you know all sorts of um, information on the gauges a lot of it is digital now it tells me things like the amount of uh, the temperature of the oil and the pressure and um, what else is in here um, I can see how much gasoline I have and it actually tells me to the mile how many miles left I have on the tank of gas stick shift uh, shifts easily it's in a good ergonomic location <laughs> so this is how modern this car is I think that it's their air conditioning is now come on for me and I didn't even turn it on so either the last person had it on or they have like a specific temperature that they want to keep the car at but it's got a nice amount of air conditioning that I don't think you can even hear it's just very gentle and really nice so I'm um, getting air conditioned at the moment. So that's pretty nice. I want to remind everyone that 2016 is the very last year of the naturally aspirated flat six engine that was shared by both the Boxster and the Cayman, whether you get a normal or S model. Porsche went ahead and switched over to a four cylinder turbocharged car and to me personally, the sound of the car is just not quite the same. So keep that in mind if you're car shopping at all. Well, that was super fun. I really enjoyed that. And I just wanted to give Mike Ward my thanks again for letting me take the car out. And I hope you enjoyed the little drive that we went on together. And if you have a chance, and especially if you're here locally, come check out this dealership. They have a lot of really nice cars, and I'm sure that they would love to have you here. Bye. Listen to that. Listen to that pickup. Listen to that exhaust.